morning, Quadcopter 101 here, and before we get started, let's get today's shout out out of the way. Today's shout out goes to Metevs Arzensek. He was first to say first in one of my recent videos, and thus wins this shout out, so congratulations. Good morning, Quadcopter 101 here, and what I got for you today is a review of a neat new quadcopter. This is the SHRC H2 lock. Now, when you look at the lock, you can see what they're trying to go with here. This appears to be a clone of the uh, Rise Tello. Now, I do still have my Rise Tello. I really like my Rise Tello. <laughs> Let's just compare the two real quick here before we go into the review and features of this particular drum. Uh, the Rise Tello has image stabilization, in, in particular for video image stabilization. This drone does not. Uh, the Rise Tello has uh, dual optical IR sensors in addition to its optical flow sensor, and this provides very stable flight especially on windy days. Um, this one just has an optical flow sensor on the base, so, you know, there's two uh, basic differences right there. Now, in performance, in what you're going to get, you're going to get much stabler video than what you get with this one, uh, and the image quality of the photos are going to be much better, too, in compared to this one. Now, this one is being advertised with a 2K camera, folks. It may have a 2K camera, but unfortunately, this is the Wi-Fi version of the lock. I, th I think they were planning an SD card version. The Wi-Fi version of the lock um, just transmits uh, video and photos in 720p to your phone. There is no recording capability on this drone. Uh, again, the video that you get from this 2K sensor is only 720p on your phone, recorded directly to your phone. Uh, currently, there is no capability for using the full potential of this 2k sensor recording in 2k even though they're saying it has a 2k sensor so you you should expect good video at 720p though okay i'm just letting you uh, let's put that out on the table right now while we're talking about it now um the things that are in common with the tello are the propellers and the motors they appear they're the same propellers and they're both uh, use 8520 motors on both of these so you can you potentially use uh, motors and propellers for if you need spare propellers or spare motors for the lock you can use tele motors or you can just go out and buy 8520 motors <laughs> they're quite common motors you know, is what I'm trying to say folks the battery between the two this one the lock uses a 3.7 volt 3000 milliamp per hour battery that is charged directly through a micro USB port on the battery. Um, the battery for the Tello is different, folks. Uh, you, you cannot use a Tello battery or a Tello battery with this, or you can't use this type of battery with the Tello. Uh, very different batteries, although they're, they're similar in size. You know, this is a 3.7 volt. This is also 3.7 volt on the Tello, but it's 1100 milliamp per hour, and it has different thickness, <laughs> different connectors, so, you know, it's not going to work is what I'm trying to say, folks. Don't, you know, you can't swap batteries between the two. Now, what is the capability of this particular drone? I mentioned it has 720p HD video and pictures, and it weighs only 80 grams with the battery. So for those countries that are weight restrictive at around 250 grams, this is well below that limit for registration purposes. Um, again, I did mention it has optical flow sensor on the bottom, and this provides stable flying without need of the pilot input to maintain stability. It just looks at the ground and will hold its position and hover. Now it does have, um, you know, using its lock app, it's the L-O-C-K-E app, available on Google Play and iTunes. It does have advanced capabilities, supposedly, of gesture, uh, photo, and video, although I could not get that to work in my front yard. I'm going to try it again out in the field, though. Um, you can control this drone using either its provided controller or using the lock app. Uh, with the provided controller, I'm not sure you're going to be able to get the advanced features that you can do with this. Uh, it, and I'm going to try to, to use it. <laughs> the controller with the app and try to use advanced features, but I might have to uh, do a separate flight using the phone only to control it uh, to get those advanced features. And what are they? They are, it supposedly has follow me, folks, and also has supposedly has circle position and waypoints, along with one and more advanced feature up and away, similar to what the Tello has <laughs> up and away where it goes, flies backwards, and, and it gives you a crane shot in effect. We'll see how well that actually works out in the field. So what do you get with the Tello, <clears throat> with the lock, I mean? With this particular drone, you do get a very nice carrying case that comes with it. Um, in addition, you get your instruction manual and the instruction manual for the lock app. And you get the drone. 
you get the battery, 3.7 volt, 1,000 milliamp hour battery. You get it's a charger with a, a micro USB charger. Now this char particular charger, I would prefer you use the charger that comes with this drone because this has a light and a um, sensor in here. When this reaches 3.7 volts or 4.2 volts, <laughs> this will automatically cut off the power for the charging. If you use a regular cable to charge this, you may overcharge it. So use the provided charger that comes with this drone. Uh, other things you get, you get a full set of spare propellers here, along with a propeller puller. You get a set of propeller guards if you want to fly indoors. Don't use these outdoors, folks. That will uh, make the flight performance outdoors, especially if there's any wind. These act as sails in the wind, so you don't want to use these outdoors. And you get the controller. Now, the controller has a clip for holding your phone. Let's go over the features of the controller. Um, it does not have sticks. It has slide buttons <laughs> that we have seen on previous uh, drones. Previous toy drones have these slide buttons. And this enables it to be packed away in a compact space, especially if you remove this <laughs> from the top here. Now, the buttons on this particular controller, I'm going to leave it off for now, is this is for rates. This enables you to uh, get greater pitch on the drone if you want to fly fast. It, I think it has up to three rates, beginner, intermediate, and expert. So uh, slow, medium speed, and high speed in effect. This is a selfie button here. When you press this, the back of the drone becomes the front and the front of the drone with the camera becomes the back. So you can take selfie photos very easily and control the drone at the same time, just keeping the back end of the drone toward you. And <laughs> it makes it easier to fly it instead of flying backwards. Uh, other buttons on this, we have a lot of trim buttons. We have yaw trim, which are these two buttons here. We have throttle trim, which are these two buttons here. And we also, oh no, this is pitch trim. And this is roll trim. I'm sorry, folks. Yaw, pitch, and roll trim. Okay. And on the buttons on the lower right here, this button here is for gyro calibration. You need to do this if you're before your first flight, or else the drone will not take off. Is they do a gyro calibration, and then you can automatically do an automatic takeoff by pressing this button here. If you press this button here and it doesn't do an automatic takeoff, it means you haven't done your gyro calibration. So remember to do a gyro calibration by pressing that button here. Also has automatic landing by pressing this button here. It does have headless mode, which you activate by pressing this button here. And these buttons for photos and videos were meant for the SD card version, which I don't think is ever going to come out, but we might. I might be uh, proven wrong. But these do not work with this Wi-Fi version. I've tried it and tried it again, over and over again. It will not, these buttons do not work with the current version of the app and the Wi-Fi drone so um, you need to use the app to record video and photos and again they re they're recorded directly to your phone so that are is the features of the sh rc h2 lock let's take it out in the field and see how it flies so hope you enjoy this flight good morning quite copter 101 here and we are out at one of my favorite flying fields with the sh rc h2 lock now in my intro to this uh intro video to this I forgot to mention a few things about this. Uh, this is available uh, in two, or actually several options. It's available with uh, either white or black lock drone. And it's also available with either one, two, or three batteries. So you can get spare batteries with this when you purchase it. Um, additional thing I forgot to mention, this uses 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi. What that means is, folks, this will work with most people's phones, okay? Unlike 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi, which you need to have a newer phone to use, this uses the old-fashioned 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi, which means everybody can use this with their phone. Okay, let's fire this up. Let's show you how to start it up. First off, you put it on a flat level surface, like so, and then hit the on switch on the drone. You hold it down for a few seconds to turn on the drone. Then you turn on the controller by holding down this button here until you hear a beep, and you go up and down on the throttle to bind it to the drone. Now I'm going to connect my phone's Wi-Fi to the drone, to the drone's Wi-Fi, actually, Wi-Fi signal, and then we'll open up the app and we should be able to view the FPV video from the drone. So hold on, folks. Okay, this is the lock app available on Google Play and iTunes, and we can see that we do have FPV signal coming from the drone. Now remember, to start video, you need to use the app. You can't use the phone's uh, controller to start the video. You've got to start it through the app's control, and I'm selecting that video button right there. And we are video recording right now. Now remember, to start the motors, we need to first do a gyro calibration, and we're going to do that by pressing that button there, and that should be calibrated. And now we can start the motors. 
and the motors are started and we're gonna give it a little throttle to take off and let's see how well it holds its position I have a breeze coming from my left here about three to five miles per hour it's a good breeze today and it's holding its position very well okay with that in mind let me get into the view of the camera and notice that we don't have any signal coming from the Wi-Fi oh there it is <laughs> it dropped signal for a bit there okay it should be recording how do you like my shirt today folks got to say that first off start that off and uh, first off again we have a breeze let's see how high we can go with this I'm gonna turn it to the right into the breeze and then let's climb a bit and see what our video signal looks like as we go up how high can I go before this thing starts to drift in the wind going up higher higher do I still got video signal I'm not sure turning yeah I got some video signal and it's still holding its position oh drifting a bit turning to the left still holding its position we are a good uh, 15 feet up let's go up higher and see when it starts to okay we are by 20 feet up still holding its position folks doing a good job actually let me rotate and showing you the camera that's a fast rotate though unfortunately I let me see if I can do it slower slower rotate to show you the camera that should be better and I think I lost signal again there let's come back down again and see if I can regain the signal okay I got the signal so the signal Wi-Fi signal doesn't go very far with this particular job uh, but since it's using 2.4 gigahertz I think there is possibly it could possibly uh, be used with the Wi-Fi repeater that uh, the that works with the me Wi-Fi repeater which works uh, with the Tello um, it should also work with this too I think okay let's try the advanced features while we're here I am going to select that button there and the first thing I want to try is the long distance flying mode let's go up a bit higher hitting that button and I want to see what it does long distance flying mode does nothing okay how about up and away this is the or 360 let's try the 360 three sticks 360 and it's doing nothing which means I probably need to fly it with the app to use those features so I want to try these advanced features um, real quick let's just fly it around real quick to show you that it does operate with the controller and it works re relatively well with the controller but I want to come over and land it let's stop it right there and let's land it hitting the land button because we are going to switch to the controller or using the app only to fly this okay um, it's nice to use the controller but I don't think we can use the advanced features of this using the controller so first off I'm going to I stop the video and I'm going to turn this controller off and it should be off right now and we are going to switch to control through the app now I think I have control already using the app and to, to fly it we have to hit that eyeball in the upper right corner and then we have to hit that H button to turn on to say this is the altitude hold drone and next I want to start the video again video recording started and then we're going to hit takeoff button in the center left or starts the motors taking to the air and we're flying with the with this now now we should not have 2.4 gigahertz interference like we had using the controller okay that messes up uh, the ability of this to fly long distances <laughs> since there is interference between the controller and this but let's try those advanced features now again uh, long distance flying let's try that does it do anything maybe I have to give it a boot nope doesn't seem to do anything okay let's try advanced features again of uh, 360 one button 360 so fly the okay are you gonna fly do I need to tell you which direction to fly maybe no so that 360 mode does not seem to work either how about using gestures gesture control let's come down lower so you can see me try gesture control well maybe we need to stop the video try gesture control again
No, nope, gesture control does not seem to be doing anything. Uh, well, while we're down here, let me turn it to the left and try a picture. Taking photos. Photo. Take another photo. One more. <laughs> okay, that's three photos. Um, let's try the follow me. Where's that follow me feature on this thing? <sighs> there it is. And it's grayed out. It's grayed out when you're flying it with the with the app, unfortunately, folks. Let me see if I can turn it on by... And it's landing. Okay, now that's not its flight time, obviously. But let's put it back on the pad. We're going to turn the controller back on and see if we can get Follow Me to work using the controller. Okay, I've reconnected it to the uh, controller, but I can't seem to get it to fly with the controller. Let's see if we can still fly it using the app. So, um, selecting the eyeball mode, selecting that and let's see uh starting let's see if we can get to start the motors starting take off no so what you know what folks even though the battery meter says we got 100 percent battery i think that is our flight time so we're gonna have to do a second flight of this to demonstrate the follow me feature um because we ran out of battery power obviously <laughs> it's not taking off either with the controller or this and again uh, the battery indicator in the lower right does not seem to be accurate with this particular drum so we will recharge it again, and I'll give it another flight tomorrow. So I need to demonstrate that follow me feature. So let's give it another shot tomorrow. So hold on, folks. Good morning, Quadcopter 101 here, and it's the second day of flight of the uh, lock. And notice that I got my Mi repeater with me. It does work with this, as you can see here, folks. Uh, let me put, put it on the ground. I already got it bound up to the uh, phone. Let me turn on my Mobizone, too, so we can record this and show you on screen. It's recording. Three, two, one. There we go. Okay, that's the Bob is in recording from this. Um, for today's flight, again, I want to fly this, so I'm going to hit that eyeball so we bring up the um, control sticks for this. And then you got to hit the H to say this is a altitude hold drone. And let's do the takeoff. Or actually, let's start the video recording first. Video is recording. Now in the lower left corner, hit that upward arrow to start the motors. And give it a throttle to take away. Go into the air. And there it is. Okay, now again, this is going from my phone to the Mi repeater and then the re Mi repeater to the drone. It's a relay link up. So let me get in the picture. So how do you like my shirt today, folks? Now, the, I didn't get a chance the other day to demonstrate follow me. Let's try that now. Yeah, let's turn it. And I'm not sure if it actually will, but we will. Oh, yeah, you got to draw a box. Okay, I see how this works. Let's see if this will follow my box. <laughs> Uh, one thing though, let me take it up a bit more higher. Let me let me come out of follow me go up a bit higher And going up higher 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 showing my head now hitting follow me again and this time outlining myself Okay, that should be seeing me Okay, let's see if it actually will follow. I'm gonna turn slowly to give it a chance Is it going to do it? Oh, you got to hit go Okay, let's get back in the picture again. Drawing the box again. This time hitting go. Okay, will it follow? Will it turn toward me? It, it tried. <laughs> let's get back in the picture again, give it another shot. I'm going to step back a bit this time. Stepping back a bit and hitting or drawing the box around my position and then hitting go again. Are you going to follow? It's following. So you got to, You can't be too close to this when you use this. Oh, and it lost its lost its link again. Okay, let's come out of uh, follow me. Turn it off, follow me. Go it up higher. And let's get away from the transmitter. Or from the me repeater. Let's go over here somewhere. Flying over here. Okay, get some distance between us and that repeater. And then... Getting back into the picture again. Is this still recording? It's still recording. Back in the picture. And hitting follow me one more time. Drawing the box. And selecting go. And let's see it follow. Or at least turn toward me. Oh, there you go. So remember, you got to stay far away from this thing to get it to work. 
uh, there I locked, lost lock again on me. Hitting go again. I'm over here. So, you know, follow me zippy on this. I, yeah, I haven't seen a fo good follow me on one of these toy drones work well yet. <laughs> they kind of work and then they go off like that. So, don't be too uh, dependent on this follow me. Okay, now the other ones that I didn't get a chance to demonstrate is let's go up higher and one more time let's try if I could take a photo or a video yeah that's not working hand gesture is what I'm trying folks and the other one to fly, try is uh, long distance flying let's try that again is it gonna do something I hit long distance flying do I need to tap the screen I'm tapping the screen do I need to give it a up or forward or back now so these other features I'm not sure they actually work folks I hit long or 360 let's try that again one button 360 do it <laughs> I'm gonna let it sit there for a second get closer <laughs> well one good thing it does is it does actually hold its position very well okay I'll give you that and right now, uh, even though I'm using the repeater, it's, it's still kind of iffy on its uh, FPV, okay? FPV video is very choppy. Okay, I'm turning that off. Uh, well, we're going to stay in normal flight mode. I really wish this would work, though. One button 360, long distance flying, and holding down the button. Pressing on the screen, I can't get it to work, folks, unfortunately. And if you go into the settings icon, there's nothing talking about, uh, you know, setting it up for these uh, different features. So we're going to fly the remainder of this flight using, let me set it to 100% rate, using just this, drop flying it with the phone. So let's go up higher. Since we are repeating, we should be able to get some good distance using the phone. And you can't fly this with the phone, as you can see here. It flies very well. Let's come down lower. <laughs> Hello. It's a fast flyer. But when you go fast like this, how long does it take before... Oh, there you go. It, it stopped itself. So, coming back down. Again, this is a selfie drone. Okay, um, with whatever battery power we got left here, I want to fly it with the controller. So, let's land it. Hitting land. We're going to land it here. That yeah, better not. Yep, don't land it on your hand. It doesn't land as well as like a Tello does. And I'm going to connect the controller to it now. So, hold on, folks. Let's see if I can get the controller to link up with this. Okay, I lied. I can't get the uh, controller to connect while I got this me repeater here. So this me repeater here uh, is overpowering the transmitter. So we're going to finish it off with the controller then. So starting the motors again and uh, take into the air, pressing the takeoff button, which is that one there. No, I don't want to do anything. Let's hit stop. Let's try starting the motors one more time. I'm sorry, you got to give it throttle. I was wrong. <laughs> Take it to the air. Okay. Now, again, this is a selfie bird, so let's get closer. Let's try some pictures. Some more pictures. So. And one more. And how do you like my shirt today, folks? For, oh, let's turn on the video and sync it up. How do you like my shirt today, folks? <laughs> okay. Um, finally, let's go forward again. And we'll go up high this time. Higher. And I want to see this thing. How far up can we go? And without it, we're a good 25 feet up now. We can go real high with this thing. Okay, with that in mind, let's rotate slowly, slowly rotate. There is a wind, and it's drifting with the wind as it rotates. That's to be expected. And going forward again. Going upwind. 
pop it right about there and uh, yeah we're about 25 feet 30 feet up let's go up higher let's see how high we can go and have it hold its position this is one of the higher flying uh, next to the tello tello can go up high too but this one is is holding its position and I'm kind of surprised we're about 35 40 feet up one up higher I'm gonna see how high can we go and I still got FPV way up there <laughs> surprisingly and doing another slow rotate yeah, I'm gonna try to do a slow rotate uh, it drifts with that wind there's a lot of wind up there so I ain't gonna do any more rotate we're gonna come down from up there we're we're pretty high and it is it's kind of scared me way up there come on down so this one yes can go up high and going forward again and reducing throttle bringing it down flying forward with the phone turning 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 this one flies very well with the phone surprisingly well Pushing forward, coming back toward me. <laughs> See? <laughs> this one can move. Probably can move with its controller, too. Okay, trying to keep the camera pointed toward me as I'm doing this. So, and the flight time is reasonable. Um, I'm not sure, you know, if I had full battery the other day. I'm, I know I charged it full, but uh, this one's flying for a good long time today. So, okay, I'm trying to bring it down, and, and that breeze is really affecting its barometer. I'm trying to get a steady altitude. Is it holding there? It's holding there now. Okay, again, uh, let's turn it to the right. Turn it to the right. Go up a bit. Back in the picture. And uh, let's see, let's try uh, headless mode. Headless mode is activated, pushing forward, which is headless mode direction. It's, obviously it's this way. And it wants to climb. <laughs> and there's a little butterfly chasing this. Coming out of headless mode, headless mode is always confusing to me. I don't like headless modes. <laughs> Beginners do. I don't know why. You know, you're not you're not learning the right way to fly these things with a head, headless mode. Okay, so I got pretty long flight time on this today. And the other day, you know, I'm not sure what happened there, folks. That that flight did not last very long, but this one is lasting long. Um, let's go back into. Uh, let's see. I know there is a feature here somewhere for. There it is. Let's try the waypoints while we got it. Forward, right, and back. And that is 100% rate. So, you know, don't expect this thing to fly very far with waypoints. Let's do that again. We'll go forward, right, and back. Forward, right, and back. Forward, left, large left, and back. That's the waypoints. Let's do a big circle, or something like that, a heart. <laughs> so the waypoint feature, you know, does not work as well as you'd think it would. You know, it's, it's not long distance waypoints. It's just going around within, I'd say, about 10 feet uh, maximum distance. So turning that off there. Um, again, let me turn off the video recording and go back to feet, or... Uh, using gesture control. I really want to get this to work. Okay. And that's it. No more battery power and gesture control again failed. <laughs> so, yeah, this is advertised with a lot of advanced features that don't seem to be working. It does fly. It does fly with your phone. Um, it does record in 720p instead of 2K. And uh, I could not get circle me. I could not get, uh, well, I kind of got the follow me to work, kind of, didn't work very well. And uh, what was the other one? Up and away, I could not get that to work either. So the advanced features that are advertised with this um, don't seem to be working. But if you're looking for a little small drone, 
that it is kind of sporty, sporty little small drone. And, you know, it does provide FPV video. And you can connect it to the Mi Repeater if you want to fly long range with this with your phone. I'd be using your phone if you're flying long range. Um, this does work with the Mi Repeater. So keep that in mind, folks. So I hope you enjoyed this flight. I'm trying to get my face in a picture. This is Quadcopter 101. Signing out. Hi, Quadcopter 101 here again. Hey, if you want to get your own shout out in one of my future videos, make sure you subscribe to my channel. It's real simple. Just go to my channel page and click on that subscribe. And also make sure to click that bell button right next to the subscribe button. That way you get notified when I release a brand new video immediately and give you a chance to get that first shout out. So give it a try, folks.